everyone and welcome to 2016 which is crazy but yeah <laughs> this video obviously you can see by the title isn't gonna be a woohoo 2016 type video because I still need to do my favorites for December so that's what I will be doing first but I promise you that the next video will be more 2016 based I am also still at home I have one more week before I start the second term of uni that's why I don't have anywhere proper to film because one I came back from Holland yesterday so it's still a bit of packing everywhere and two that's not two and secondly there's not really like so there's only a few photos there a few photos there just nothing really good to film back and also um, thirdly maybe I should say my mum is downstairs in the living room so I can't film in there right onto my favorites which I realized the book broke as well the plasticky thingy so that's always great my favorite item of clothing for December my favorite item of clothing for December has got to be this jumper which I actually got Boxing Day for the Boxing Day sales and wow. but yeah I can't think of anything that I bought before that but I'm I just love this jumper I've been wearing it not every day because it needs to be washed <laughs> but I have been wearing it a lot and it is I'm trying to look on the camera but it is a turtleneck for some reason that came out of my mouth what if it's not even called that I think it's called that whoa mind blank <laughs> but yeah and the sleeves kind of come all the way but they're not and it's really really baggy as you can tell and when I lift my arms up it kind of goes all the way up that's why I have to wear a vest top because it's cold so yeah, that's my favourite item of clothing for last month. Favourite movie has definitely got to be a festive type movie. There are so many movies. I think this year, last year, whoa, I think I watched almost every single Christmas movie that I own or that I thought of that was on Netflix or something last December, if that made sense. I'll try to fix the <laughs> sentence, but they just didn't work. But yeah, I watched all the Santa Clauses, all the Home Alones, I watched The Grinch, I watched Elf. I didn't get to finish A Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm. But I'm going to have to say that my favourite movie for December is Love Actually because it's just, it has one of my favourite scenes or storylines in it with Liam Neeson and his son. Oh, that's just the cutest thing. And if you haven't watched it, you have to this year in December. I mean, you can watch it now, I guess. I'm probably gonna watch it now. <laughs> For favourite actor slash actress of last month, I'm going to give it to Jim Carrey. Just because I kind of never really liked him before, but I think, I can't remember what made me change my mind. I think like the first few movies, because my, my parents do like him, but sometimes they're not a fan, because he obviously does like the same sort of things all the time. But I just really, really like him now, and um, yeah, he's really cool. He, yeah, <laughs> I just have a lot to say. But um, I can understand why people don't aren't a fan of his work, but I am. So he's going to be the favourite actor of the month. For makeup and beauty, I have chosen Tanya Burr's lip gloss. Oh, is it fading? No, it's not. But it's called Just Peachy, and it's the first one I have of her collection. I'm wearing it now, and I wanted to get a nudie light pink kind of colour and this was actually the first time that a lip gloss or lip product has finished the look if that makes sense for me anyway like I've worn other ones but maybe it just never really popped in my mind but I really 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 like this one and I think I got it yeah I got it from my I got it from my good friend Elise who was in a Christmas video, the Christmas song one, but yeah I think I'm gonna go and get more of these. Oh was it shiny? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Favourite singer slash artist for December has obviously got to be Michael Bublé. His CD was on replay constantly. It's always sad when you listen to it so much and then suddenly it just goes because it's not Christmas anymore and then you can't actually listen to it until the time comes again so yeah it's sad 
My favourite song of last month that I have chosen is a One Direction song and I still need to get their fourth album and obviously their fifth album now but I went on a little break of not really being obsessed with them or listening to them a lot but recently I really have and I really 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 like their sound at the moment. When I let someone hear a song of theirs like on their recent album they take a while to actually realise that it's One Direction because it sounds completely different to what they first sounded like. So anyway, my favourite song for December is History by them and it's really really good and I think you should all listen to it. If you don't like it, you don't like it and if you do, there's a new song for you. <laughs> I can't remember if I had a favourite book or author last month but I don't really have one this month as well. I have been reading Us a bit more though. I'm not into it, into it yet. Yeah, I'm still quite near the beginning and I don't see myself reading it continuously for a while now, purely because I am going back to uni. If I have a free moment, yeah, I'll pick it up and read it, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit hard again. But I will say that on the journey to and fro, <laughs> on the journey there and back from Holland I did get my Wattpad back out because I used to be obsessed with that before and read all fan fiction stuff that's embarrassing but yeah I can't remember the story that I'm reading right now but I really like them because you get to read completely new stories and you do find some good ones sometimes so that's interesting favourite fitness for last month because I basically had the whole month off from uni and stuff like that I have been doing a lot of stretching here. Having said that, I'm sorry Evie, someone from my course, but the splits aren't there yet. <laughs> I need to be able to do the splits soon. They will be done. <laughs> For favourite mood, mood? <laughs> For favourite food slash meal of last month, I'm obviously going to choose the Christmas Eve meal, Christmas dinner and, oh no, but we had another great one before. And New Year's Eve meal, and let me go through with you what we had. So Christmas Eve I spent at my grandparents' house, and obviously you saw some of that in my vlogs, it was all fish, fish-based, yada yada yada. And Christmas Day we had lasagna, I think, didn't we? No we didn't, we had a circle pasta thing with lasagna sauce in it, which was yummy. And then my mum surprised us with English Christmas dinner which may sound odd to you as to why I find that surprising, but I shall tell you why. It was my first time that we had pigs in blankets and all that kind of stuff. That's the only thing that popped to my mind because they're delicious. <laughs> but yeah, normally we celebrate the Italian way, which is all fish, all have lasagna. My phone went off again. Chris! <laughs> but yeah, so it was really, really nice that my mum attempted to do the Christmas, English Christmas dinner, and it was really, really nice. And I had obviously had a Christmas dinner back at uni with the gals, but yeah, it was nice. For Christmas Eve I obviously spent in Holland and we had our, there's no easy way to describe this other than an indoor small version of a barbecue. Do they have that in England? I don't know. Basically is where you have something this big, say, th okay, that big, <laughs> and um, it's heated and you get to place like meat on it or we had salmon on it as well and there was something else oh and you get and like underneath you can put eggs and put under there it's like your own barbecue inside that's again the only way i feel like you can explain it favorite picture slash photo let me just get it up for you it's got to be this photo of me and my youngest cousin Riva, who's going to be two in a few days actually in a week i think but yeah so she's just so so cute and let me just refocus back on my face. She is just so cute and she was ill the first day we got there so she was a bit like eh, I don't want to see anyone leave me alone but this was the day that she was better <laughs> and yeah she was cute. <laughs> Favourite item in my room I have chosen this jade book that Chris actually got for me for Christmas and it's funny because I the first time I saw this book was when me and my friend Tilly went to go see Lion King in the summer and I saw it and I was like oh my god this is so cool but how, what would you write in it because there's actual pages in there so you know then I saw it again when me and Chris went to London when we went to see Wicked 
but we were in Harrods I think and they had them in there I think that's where they had them but yeah I, th I said that I saw them before and it would be really cool to have one so I didn't realise he got me one but yeah <laughs> I have chosen to use this as my diary but to only write small kind of things in them so not an actual diary even though some of them might look quite full but yeah like this there's only a little bit of writing in there and um, yeah I thought that would be a cool way because I did that thing where you write little things and uh, I say things a lot my favourite jewellery for this month has got to be these two oh actually I got earrings too but anyway <laughs> I've got to be these two bracelets that were found that I found even in one of the advent calendar boxes that Chris got for me and it's just something really really small and cute but they're just shiny I don't know why <laughs> but they're really really sweet and I've never been one to wear bracelets or things like that but I seem to be wearing these a lot and also they go nice with the jumper so Favourite YouTuber that I liked last month, and obviously still do, but last month I was watching them even more than I normally do, but it was the Michelax, I want to say that's how they pronounce the last name, um, Hannah Mags it used to be the before, and actually while I'm filming this it's Grayson's birthday, his second birthday, I feel like saying happy birthday, you probably won't see this. <laughs> <laughs> but happy birthday anyway, and I really 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 enjoyed their vlogmas, and I enjoy watching their Sunday vlogs anyway, and I actually got their channel from a friend of mine, Lauren, who mentioned their channel to me, and I started watching them, so yeah, I'll put their link in the description below for you guys to see. Favourite moment of December has got to be Panto, as soon as I got back from Chris's house that weekend Monday was panda rehearsals then Thursday was then Monday Tuesday Christmas break and then eight shows it was crazy but so much fun yeah it was great <laughs> it was just nice seeing everyone again and I was talking to Sarah uh, one of my friends who does panto as well and I asked if she was gonna do it next year because I want to but I don't know if it might it might be my last one doing it next year but she said um, it would be weird not doing it, especially since we're away from uni, coming back. Like, what would we do that Christmas? Because I think this was my fourth year doing it, I want to say. Yeah, my fourth year doing it, so it will just feel weird coming back, not having Panto at Christmas. And that concludes the favourites video, but I will do a sneaky extra just because I want to show you guys. <laughs> in some of my vlogmases, I did mention how I was looking for a new guitar because the guitar I had, one, my dad actually kind of wanted it because I've been hearing him play it a lot recently and that just gave it away. <laughs> and two, I just wasn't really liking the sound and it didn't suit me, which I know sounds weird, but I hope some people understand. So as a late Christmas present, I think I got it on Boxing Day, I got a new guitar and I love it. I just, yeah, just love it. Shall I play you a tune? That wasn't a tune, but that was something for you. <laughs> I have been writing songs already and I'm super excited to get a few recorded so you can all see them. Um, so yeah, I don't know when exactly that will be or how I will be fil filming them because I know my good friend Ben who I used to do songs with before 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 has now finished his course his um, one year course so he's a bit free now but obviously I have to go back to uni and I'm just gonna talk really fast because everything's happening so quickly but anyway <laughs> panic over <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video and also thank you for the ones who did watch my vlogmases it was super super fun I can't wait to do it again this year and I also kind of want to do another month of full daily vlogging just because I I enjoy it and hopefully the uploading editing side of it won't let me down like it did for the beginning of vlogmas and a bit towards the end but anyway they're all out there you saw them all so that's the most important thing <laughs> Also, thank you to the new subscribers and welcome to my channel. I hope you stay 
and enjoy what I upload for y'all. <sighs> I need to change how I say things. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you shortly for another video. Bye everyone, ciao!